Hello Wolfpack, Dent is the topic of analysis in this video. Dent's been getting a lot of traction in the last few months and it is a coin that I've had on my watch list for a while and I've done a video on Dent before. In fact, in our Telegram group and in the last video we did on Dent, uh, we were trading down here uh, at around 30 cents and um, through which in the coming days after that video, after that trading view, um, sorry, that Telegram post, uh, we pumped up roughly 200%, uh, just below 200%. Uh, so it was very good, it worked out pretty well, and I'm uh, looking at Dent, and I've been looking at Dent over the past couple of months, and I think we're lining up for something similar. Another big move, so, you know, this is basically a call, uh, this video here, um, and, you know, I think in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be something, seeing something pretty big from Dent, uh, in the same way we saw, uh, you know, from 30 cents, from when we uh, picked up Dent, um, all the way up to 90 cents. And actually, I think... You know, just to correct that claim quickly, I think we actually picked up Dent a bit lower than that down here at around 23 in that, the top of that green buying box. Because I remember, um, if I remember correctly, uh, we were waiting for Dent to flip this buying zone. We tested it for support here and I picked it up just after and I released that video and that uh, Telegram post. So around 27, 28 cents, something around there um, is where we picked up Dent. Regardless, good gains from that. And, you know, as I said, I've been watching it closely, um, you know. Like a hawk, like a wolf, I guess it's more topical, like a wolf in the wolves of crypto. Uh, and I think we're coming up for a big um, a big move up in the next couple of weeks. So if we look into the chart and we'll take away all the indicators briefly, I want to go over what's happened with Dent. So Dent, we can look at coin market cap as well. Dent's a spiky mover, right? It's pretty easy to see. Uh, you don't see much gradual growth with this coin, right? You see straight up and straight down, right? There's no in-between. Uh, gradual growth is is not really a thing that Dent does. Like, even in this small impulse move here, in a matter of just, you know, what, two months? Just under two months, we moved up 466%. Very, very gradual. Uh, sorry, very, very sharp. And, you know, it looks more gradual, but it's very, very sharp. You know, it's almost a 5x in just two months. And this move here at the start of the year from February uh, to around April, um, we saw a move up of 31x. So, you know, this is a quick mover, but, you know, obviously that goes both ways. And, you know, when you move up that quick, you're also going to move down very quickly and very sh sharply as well. Uh, and, you know, in terms of um, depth, so we can see that we dropped down over 92, 93% as well in that uh, May capitulation. But that's okay because this is a coin. Guys, I said this in the last video and I'll say it again. Dent is a coin you should be scalp trading. Uh, or swing trading. You should not be long-term holding Dent, okay? It is a very, very bad idea to long-term hold a coin that moves this quickly. You should be buying in, taking advantage of the rally, and selling out, because every single time this coin has dropped, it's dropped like 90%, right? So keep that in mind. This is not a long-term investment. If you want long-term investments, go buy some Bitcoin, okay? Dent is a scalp trading or swing trading coin that you hold for a couple of months at the absolute maximum, a couple of months, preferably a couple of weeks, okay? Um, I just want to get that very clear. And one of the reasons for that, and we're going to go over some of the bearish things before we get into the bullish stuff, and there is a lot of bullish stuff. Um, one of the reasons you don't want to be swing trade, uh, sorry, one of the reasons you don't want to be long-term investing in Dent, uh, you know, Obviously, this is a fact that it moves up and down very quickly, but if you look at the market cap in relation to the price, right? So this is to do with tokenomics, how many coins are in circulation. Um, a lot of people will look at Dent and say that Dent can go all the way back to its all-time high, right? At 10 cents. That's impossible, okay? Well, it's not impossible, but it's very, very, very unlikely because it's actually much harder for it to get to that point now because... Um, there's more coins in circulation and hence the, you know, it takes more money to move Dent. So as you can see, in terms of market cap, when we made that rally in uh, May here, just before the crash, we should have actually been uh, well above the all-time high. And we can see we're actually very, very far away from the all-time high. Um, but this is because of tokenomics. It's not because of, uh, you know, where Dent's valued. So people who were saying that Dent can go back to its all-time high, in reality, Dent would need, uh, let's do a quick calculation here. It got to, um, Dent would probably need somewhere around uh, 10 times the amount of money um, than it was in May to get back to its all-time high, right? So Dent would prob Dent will probably need uh, to reach a market cap uh, of around the top 25, right? Top 25 crypto market cap, uh, just off the top of my head, to get back to its all-time high. Top 25. Dent is currently sitting at 130. Okay, it's very optimistic. Okay, uh, I just want to really clarify that point. It is much harder for Dent to move up in value. It takes a lot more money for Dent to move up in value because there's more coins in circulation. So get these ideas of Dent going back to all-time highs out of your head. 
all right? It's it's probably not going to happen. I'm not going to say for certain. It definitely could happen, but I don't think it's going to happen due to the tokenomics, okay? But that doesn't mean dense bearish. That doesn't mean dense bearish at all. I mean, in fact, just to go back to its local high that made this year, uh, it's, you know, a 4x, okay? So that does not mean dent is bearish in the slightest. And it will probably go, you know, in my prediction, it will go above this lo- local high it made here in April, um, you know, for sure. But, you know, I think the all-time high is quite optimistic, a little bit too optimistic. The tokenomics are dramatically different to what they were back then. The market's dramatically different to what it was back then as well. So we need to just get that out of our heads. Now that that's done, we can start making um, our prediction for dent Currently, okay, so what we can see here on Dent is a lovely uh, cup and handle formation. So we have a beautiful cup coming down from the start of May, and we kind of did a rounding bottom here, which represents uh, the buying pressure increasing and the selling pressure decreasing. So we knew that that rally was coming. As soon as we saw this area flip for support, this green box flipped for support, uh, we knew that was a strong buy signal because we knew that we were going to form this cup formation here. Uh, We sold out of Dent uh, at around 72 cents. Yes, we missed a little bit of gains. We missed around, um, you know, 20% of gains here, but we realized that, uh, you know, some of these indicators were flashing bearish and we sold out and, you know, lo and behold, within the next couple of days, we dropped down below that. So that was a good uh, sign as well for us. Um, But what we have now as well, and what I've been keeping an eye on for the last few weeks, as I've been saying, is a clean cup and handle formation for Dent. For those of you who don't know, a cup and handle formation is one of the incredibly bullish formations uh, in trading, in TA, right? So, very rarely do cup and handles break to the downside. In order for Dent to break to the downside, we would have to see a drop on Bitcoin, uh, possibly below uh, 40k, possibly below 38k, to be honest. Um, we've gone to 40k before and we've still maintained this cup formation. So possibly below 38k and have to happen very, very quickly. All right, so it's unlikely. Um, you know, for those of you who know this channel and you know my Telegram group, um, all of the cyclical theory that I've analyzed uh, in my whole time trading represents the fact that we won't, well, we most likely, I mean, it could be different this time, of course, there's a, there's a chance that things could be different, but according to the cyclical theory, 10 years of cyclical theory, we won't be dropping below 40k for an extended period of time on Bitcoin. So it is very unlikely, in my opinion, that Dent will be dropping below this handle formation. Um, you know, the lowest I can see Dent going is coming down for another swoop uh, of the bottom of this handle and then bre- breaking upwards. But the point is, uh, you know, it's on and I drew a midline and I'll just make that a different color here. I'll make that orange so you guys can see that quite clearly. We'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, in this handle formation, uh, we have been rejected constantly from the midline. We've seen rejections all across here, back down to the bottom. Uh, once we break above the midline, that will probably be you know, a decent opportunity to buy in. But for certain, once we breach the blue line here, uh, that will be the ultimate buy signal for Dent. But one of the things here with this trade signal that makes it slightly complicated is the fact that now we have actually dropped below this previous support block, this red uh, previous support block, and made it into resistance. That's between around um, 0.005 and around 0.0055, right? So we've made that into resistance, so that will be a little bit of a factor in to how we will be breaking above here. But, you know, the chances are um, us breaking above the blue line will mean that we've had to break above that red box anyway. So what I'll be doing on Dent, guys, and what I recommend uh, you do, obviously, these are my opinions, but this is definitely what I'm doing, is I'm setting, uh, you know, I'm keeping a constant eye on Dent, waiting for it to break above this handle formation, right? Above this handle formation, possibly flipping this box for support, and then buying into Dent, right? Once that has happened... Uh, with a target price of around 0.055, uh, you know, so once it's fully confirmed, and then we should be seeing some sharp upwards movements in a similar fashion to what Den has done in the past with its sharp upwards movements. Now, as for a target for the short-term price action in terms of that sharp upwards movement, what we can actually do is take a measurement from the bottom right-hand side uh, of this cup formation here, and measure it up to the break, uh, the the first test here on this cu- on this handle formation, and then bring that to our last touch point. And we can see that provided this touch point here on the 20th of September was the last touch point of the bottom side of the handle, uh, we'll be reaching a price estimate of around um, one cent 
uh, by October 18th on Dent. All right, that lines up perfectly with how sharp Dent moves. That lines up perfectly with some of our resistances as well. So we can see that this uh, zone here at around one cent is actually a big chop zone that we've had. So once we reach this area, we'll probably be doing some bouncing around uh, like we have done in the past before making the next move. So it makes sense perfectly. That's what I'm expecting on Dent. But as I said, I won't be looking to buy in uh, majorly until we actually break above this handle formation. And that's the confidence information I need for it. Um, so yeah, I think it's a pretty safe trade if you wait for that breakout. If you buy right now, it gets a little bit riskier. Wait for the breakout and then make the trade. Um, what we can see if we bring up some indicators, the Gorgian channel, we're still respecting the Gorgian channel on Dent. As you can see, we're just barely holding it, but we are actually holding it for support still, uh, barely closing below that one. Uh, we can see the same thing with the 100-day SMA, the red line here. We're holding that for support. Just recently, um, in this daily candle, we've actually flipped this yellow line, which is this uh, 12 SMA, which kind of, you know, in my mind, is a little bit of an indicator that we will actually be moving past this center line of the uh, handle formation here and going up for a test at the top. So we could be seeing a breakout in the next couple of days, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, as for volume profiling, I haven't actually looked at this, so let's have a look quickly. Let me just get this up. Um, as for volume profiling, we can see that, you know, we're having uh, this, some resistance here in this area, but it's actually nothing too prominent, nothing to be too worried about. What we can see is the current area we, we are in, uh, this current trading range we are in is heavily supported, uh, which means that it's probably going to be quite unlikely that we drop below this area. And if we do, um, you know, we have some further support in this green box as well. Um, if we bring up the MACD and RSI, um, I wanted to speak about quickly uh, a similarity on the RSI particularly. We'll bring up the MACD again in a second. But on the RSI particularly, I have found something quite interesting here for Dent. So we can see that uh, in April... Um, and, you know, during the May capitulation, we entered kind of a downwards trend on the RSI. Then we flattened out for a few months as Bitcoin just ranged around a little bit. Um, and then we made a spike up as we moved up over 200 to 300% um, in this region here, where we made that trade earlier in um, the last couple of months. Now we're seeing something very similar, right? We're seeing a downwards trend on the RSI. We're flattening out. And then the next logical move, if we're going to follow that fractal, is a spike upwards and an upwards trend, which colorates well uh, with what we just said in in regards to the cup and handle formation, right? So there's quite a quite a lot of evidence uh, supporting this cup and handle breakout. And then the last thing I want to bring up, which is you know even more telling evidence, is the fact that uh, we have a bullish MACD cross that's going to be occurring on the daily chart, uh, provided we don't see a 10% drop in the next you know. 12 hours before this daily candle crows, we have a pretty clear uh, bullish MACD cross is going to be playing out, which should spike the price up quite significantly to the top of that channel, and we'll wait to see what happens there. So, you know, looking good, looking good. That's all we can say on Dent, looking quite good. Um, that trading, that, you know, that, that trading idea that I just suggested to you, I'll definitely be taking it, but you guys can do what you want. Um, as for price predictions for the end of the bull market, uh, for Dent, I don't really have much information from previous cycles due to the fact that the tokenomics were incredibly different in this cycle in 2018, 2017. So I'm not actually going to be taking that into account because it's impossible to take into account, right? It's completely different tokenomics now. The coins changed massively in terms of TA. Um, so what we can actually do is we can realize that when Dent reached its all, uh, this local high here in April, at around uh, two cents, two point two cents, uh, Bitcoin was ranging in the sixty four k region, which was its all time high. Uh, assuming Bitcoin reaches my price target, which I haven't actually clarified yet, come back on October first uh, if you want my full clarification and my full set in stone price target for Bitcoin for the end of. Um, this bull market, but you know, just roughly in the region of around 120k, we can assume Bitcoin's going to 2x from that region, uh, from a 64k all-time high, and hence Beck Dent should 3x because altcoins typically outperform Bitcoin. So if Dent 3x's from the all-time high or the local high, sorry, made in April, we can assume that Dent's going to reach a price of around 6.8 cents in this bull market. Right, that's my prediction for Dent. 6.8 cents, rounded up to seven if you like. Somewhere in that region is obviously a rough estimate, but somewhere in this region here between six and seven cents. That's my prediction for Dent in this bull market based off of, um, you know, 
my formula that I apply to coins that don't give me a strong signals from the past, and that's one of them. So it's a rough one, but I would be expecting it to go significantly past its local high. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the dent analysis. I hope you take the trading signal, um, you know, into account here. Make sure to wait for the breakout. Don't just don't, you know, get too hasty here and rush into a trade because it might go wrong here. Wait for a breakout, wait for confirmation. Obviously, that's not financial advice. That's just my opinions, what I will be doing. I'm just sharing with you guys that. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.